In this video trader is gonna look at if you have a strong bias, should you always have some kind of position on? Stay tuned. Hey traders, warm welcome to you. So there are two schools of thought here, right? People say if you've got a strong bias on a stock, on a market, commodity, whatever it may be, you should always have some kind of position on. So the theory being, hey, if I'm really super bullish on gold, I should always have a very small position on gold on. The other school of thought is no, you should have a bias, you shouldn't have a position on at all because, hey, it's about the setup as well as the bias that makes the difference. I'm very much in that school. Now, I'm not against, I can do anything guys, everyone can trade however they wish to trade. If it works for them, fantastic. And for me, but for me, having a position on, not having a bias, should I say, doesn't mean I wanna risk my capital. For me, it's two things I need to see. I talk about this a lot in the no, it's a filter trigger process, but I wanna see two things. I wanna see number one, and let's assume we're just talking about bias. So I have my bias, check. However, I have my bias, whether I've got use it, for, some people use intuition, some people use a series of things they need to look at, checklists, whatever. But then in addition to that, there has to be a setup because what use is it taking, in that example, a long position in gold and then having to sit through months and months of pullback? Yeah, you could be right, but what is it? Say if I've got, I've got, I think gold's gonna go up. What happens if gold does this for the next four months before it then goes up? Are you right? Yeah, you're right, your bias was right. But are you gonna sit through that? Are you gonna sit through the loss of that? Are you gonna sit through the tying up of margin of that? Even if you've got a small position, which a lot of people are advocates for, why would you do that? Why would you have a small position in that just sits there Unless, of course, if we've got a longer term thesis, that's different. I get that. If you've got a long term thesis, you put a position in, you tuck it in the drawer, you never look at it for a while, that's a completely different strategy, a completely different kind of methodology. My point is here a lot of people say, hey, you've got a bias and you always have to have a position in it. My argument for this is that no, the point, the sweet spot in trading comes when you have the setup. So let's look at this as an example. This is a great example. I've got a long bias on gold. What do I want to see before I get long gold? Well, I definitely don't want to see it dripping lower because at this point here, I'm completely wrong, not only from price action, but from actual uh, the actual price and the movement it's got. I'm completely wrong. So what do I want to see? Well, I've got a long bias on gold. Okay, I want to see some strength. I want to see some volume. Whatever the attributes are for you that tick your boxes, that's what you want to see. For me, it's okay. I want to see some strength. I want to see some volume if I'm doing that or if I'm looking for another setup, maybe I'm taking a double bottom here. I'm using the, the weakness as a, a catalyst to get in. But whatever it is, whether it's that, whether it's buying this pullback, whether it's buying this double bottom, the reason I have to wait for some kind of setup, even if I have a stupidly strong bias, the most bullish news has come out ever. I think the whole thing is just going to rip and we're just going to go up to 50 thousand um, 50 thousand on gold it's just why would I just take it because I need to manage the risk otherwise I'm taking such a small position it's meaningless if I just stab at it long what have I got to do I've got to have risk that's way down here I've got to have like a multi-year low or something as risk I've got to be prepared for that in which case my position size is going to be so small that even if I am right so what what have I made nothing I've made a couple of hundred quid on it and I've and I've made a correct call of a good call of the year what I want is to be able to maximize the amount of money I make from being right. And that's why we wait for these setups. That's why we wait for a place where we can define the risk and we can take the trade. Does it always work? No. Sometimes people accuse us traders of being too aggressive for doing that. And I get it. But then if we're trying to leverage our capital, we're trading on margin, we're trying to push, then we are waiting for times when we can have a bit of a tighter stop. Let's say we have this double bottom, starts to see some strength. Then maybe we can use that as a stop under there and scale our size accordingly. We're prepared to risk on that. Thousand pounds, 2,000 pounds, 200 pounds, 20,000 pounds, whatever the deal may be, we can start to adjust it to do and say, okay, well, our bigger thesis is that, is long-term up. We have our stop in place, but I can position size because I have that stop that makes sense. Right, I've got a trigger. I'm ready to take the trade. I can take it, the setup is there, let's go put the chips on the table and see where it goes. And so for me, it's so, so important guys to have the bias, but to also have the setup as well. Those are the two things that need to be there as traders. If you're an investor, 
different kettle of fish. You can sit there, you can sit through a couple of years of drawdown, you're looking for the fundamentals to eventually come, become sound and to eventually start to show in price. It's a different strategy. But if we're short term trading, if we're swing trading, then the bias plus the setup is the key in my opinion. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the comment section below guys, but I know a lot of people who trade with a bias, and if they've got a huge trading pot, it works for them because they can sit on four or five trades that are in a massive drawdown. It's a different strategy, it's a different style. But if people are being more aggressive on two or three trades and are trying to push and to make more from each trade rather than spreading over kind of 10 or 20 portfolio position, then for me, trying to time it, I know people say you can't time trades, I disagree. I think with the right setups you can, but that for me is a sweet spot. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comment section below. Do you think you should have a bias on all, when you've got a bias, do you think you should always have a position on it, or do you think you should wait for the setup? Now, one thing before I leave the video, guys, is that there is something to be said, and this is you know kind of flip-flopping a bit, but you'll see where I'm going with this, by having a very small position to ensure that you are focused on it. Now, that might sound seem a bit crazy, but very often I know good traders, and this is more intraday rather than swing, I'll admit, but I know traders who put on a very small position to force themselves to look at it relative to the position they've got, i.e. is it good, still a good long, is it still a good long, is it still a good long, yes it is, yes it is. Then wait for the setup that matches what they want and then start to push some chips in the table. So they have a nibble first with a small position. That is completely different. That's not like a bias in saying this, that's a strategy for them getting into a full boat, into a full risk position in a trade. If that works, then I think that's fine, that makes perfect sense. But just having a position because of a bias yeah, to me, doesn't make much sense. Do you agree, disagree? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. See you next one. Take care. Bye-bye.